there's the queen there. Look at her go. Beautiful. Good day everyone and we are back at the bees finally. So a lot has happened since we were here last. I'm going to just start lighting this um, as I'm speaking. Um, basically we lost the queen um, as you might see in the previous video. Uh, I can't even just remember what I actually recorded and what I didn't. But what happened was we lost the queen. So she might have left and it, it took us a while to find a new queen but what we did was there was a queen cell so the bees were making a queen in one of the other hives so before that queen hatched out what we did was we moved that that whole uh, that whole frame into my hive and so eventually that queen hatched in my hive and we, she started laying eggs. And I checked her about a week ago, and there was eggs being laid. There was, uh, I found the queen, I marked the queen. So she has a little yellow mark on the back of her uh, thorax now. So that means that we should be able to find the queen today. So I hope I can f show you guys the queen today. That would be great. Also, I wanna check if there's any honey production happening. Due to the whole mess around with uh, no queen for a while, really, honey production hasn't been on the bees' mind. So, it has. It's not a particularly great year either. Yet, there's not a lot of uh, like there's not a pollen run on too much. There was a little bit of one earlier on in the year, but uh, basically, it's been all quiet where honey is concerned. Um, Especially where my hive is because I didn't have a queen and bees can sometimes just be all over the place without a queen Hope to see loads of capped brood So I want to see loads of frames All sealed waiting for bees to come out I would love to see some honey production going on up on top of the super would be really nice so hopefully that happens and we can see what we're getting ourselves into. So that's me all ready. I'm gonna give this another few minutes just to ensure that it's uh, nice and lit. And then we're gonna get in there and we'll see what we have. Back at the bees. I see some nice yellow pollen coming in. That's something I wasn't seeing last week. So they're obviously finding something. Oh yeah, there's loads of pollen coming in there. Lovely. Right, so let's see. How are they getting on? So that's the honey, or where the honey, I would like the honey to be. Give them a little blast of smoke here. So this here, as I've told you before, is the queen excluder. I'll try to shake the piece off that. them a little blast of smoke. You can hear them all giving out and that sends them down and as I said blocks them pheromones. Let's try this first. definitely has some honey in it you can tell by the weight so it's a lot heavier 
You can see that cap in the middle is honey. That's not capped brood. That's capped honey. Now this honey is theirs. I know I'm not going to take their honey from down here. But that is a nice, nice frame of honey. So we got some drones. So that's essentially a frame of their food for rainy weather. And why I took this out was because now I have room to work with as I move up the frames. Got some pollen being stored in there, which is good. Don't see any capped brood just yet. Hopefully, on this side, maybe. And one further in. So, let's hope. Smoke. Sorientate the ones around me. lighter this one so not as much honey on it. Do we have any brood? So we've got loads of eggs in there, loads of little eggs. Lots of little eggs. I don't think I'll be able to see them though however on the camera. A lot of little eggs on that. So the queen should be around somewhere in one of these frames. As to where, I don't know. I can see her yet. She might be on another frame. So I saw day old eggs. There are little eggs in there. Bit of a heavier one here. So we have some capped brood here. So that is all covered right there. So loads of baby ones in there. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. You can see them curled up in between. So they keep growing and then they become Still no queen on this one. Sometimes it can be very hard to find. So loads of capped brood there, which is good. Drones up there, them bigger ones are male. Um, male honeybees, they take a bigger. So 
yields a capped brood. Which is what I want. Hoping in the next week or so they'll all bust out, the numbers will grow. And that'll push honey production up into this box above. Fairly not angry, but they're protected today. So you can see here, loads of brood. I believe this is the frame I found around last time. There's the queen there. Look at her go. Beautiful. Can you see her there with the yellow on her back? So I put that there last week. There she is doing her business. Laying loads. There's only one of her. So I'll put her back in. Nice and gently with that one. That queen has grown a wee bit since I saw her last week, so great to see the queen. Glad I could show you that. Loads of day, day old eggs in here, and some two, three day olds. So, actually, I don't know if you can see that now at all. I don't know if you'll be able to. But there's little eggs in there, about the size of a grain of rice. Huge amount of bees, really, when you see them all like that, it really is amazing. And if you're a beekeeper and you happen to be watching this, don't be afraid to sh throw out your tips and your top tips or anything you're seeing me do, and you're like, oh god, don't do that. Or be sure to let me know. See, there's pollen stores up there. Loads of day old eggs in there. A little angrier than the last time I was here, I have to say so, but nothing nothing too crazy. And you can see here's a comb just starting to be pulled out. No eggs or anything in that. Maybe a little bit of honey going in, but it's only at the start of it. Perfectly honest, I don't think there's a lot of honey up here yet, but we'll take a wee look and see uh, where they're at. Have they done anything with it yet? Or are they completely ignoring it? So nothing going on up there as it stands. You can see. I'll take them out just to show you. So much 
smaller and they should pull out this comb eventually and fill it but I'm perfectly honest it's not looking too good for me this year with honey that whole rigmarole with uh, trying to requeen and everything like that I lost valuable time of the year but basically we have one more month one more month for these guys to make honey so whether they will or not is anyone's guess if good weather comes and stays there's every opportunity for them to fill out that and make some honey but for now it's time for me to leave these bees alone for another four five six days we'll check back on them in a week and hopefully there was nothing going on up here so when we come back one will do a hive inspection like we did there we'll run through all the hives see if we can see the queen it's always nice to see the queen see how those brood is getting on make sure there's nothing no deformities or anything like that make sure everything's a-okay check if any honey production is going on up here and we'll just uh, we'll go from that so yeah guys hope you've enjoyed this one it's just a quick hive inspection and an update on the bees we'll see how we get on in the next one all right thank you very much we'll see you again bye bye